This is a plain slice of spiced orange pie, Zero Two Development Edition. It's powered by the all-winner H616 chip. Hello everyone. This is Wintigo LZP. I'm holding an orange pie Zero Two. I'm going to use this orange pie Zero Two to build my own NAS and a personal blog. Now we need to prepare the following items. A development board. A TF memory card. A card reader. A portable hard drive. This storage for NAS. And an HDMI cable. After preparing the following items, we can start. We first insert the TF card into the card reader and insert it into the computer. OK, let's prepare the image file. Let's choose our the development board. What I've chosen here, it's the official Ubuntu image. I personally prefer this one called Ubuntu. Download. Open the image burning software etcher. Select the image. Select the inserted TF card. Click burn. The TF card will be ejected after successful burning. OK, after the burning is finished, we insert the memory card into the orange pie. Plug in the mouse and keyboard. Then power on. Good indicator light is on for power on. OK. Waiting to start. After booting up, configure the network. Of course, if you are plugging in the cable, we can ignore this step. Type sudo su. Enter your password. Enter. Type orangepi config. Enter. OK. Go to this screen. Go to network options. Select Wi Fi. Select the network you want to connect to. Enter the password. Enter to connect. OK, the connection is successful. Exit. OK to return to this page. Then select personal. Select time zone. Change to Shanghai. That's Beijing time in China. Enter. OK, I'm done. OK, that's it. OK, let's go back to. IP address. Enter. Check the IP address. For example, my IP address is 192.168.10.70. OK, let's remember this address. Let's use the SSH tool to connect. Connect in the upper left corner. Enter the IP address we just entered. I've already entered it here. Click on Connect. Click on Accept. Enter the account we need to log into. We choose Root. Enter the password. OK, Enter. If we can see this page, that's proof that we've done the basics. The next step is that we carry out some software installation can be. 
All we need is a NASR. A personal blog this file. I chose this Casa OS. Well personally think it is still relatively good. Good we install. Enter the command install. Enter. This waiting process ah. Time will be a little long. Do not think that he is dead or stuck. Unless your network is down ah. We need to be patient. Okay. In this case he is installed. We enter this as his IP address. It's the IP address that we just SSH to. Okay, in the browser, type enter. And then we'll follow the prompts. We need to create an account step by step. And here we are. We're done with the NAS part. We can plug in our portable hard drive. As a file storage drive. Okay. The next step is to implement a personal blog. Here I suggest that there are two options. The first is to use Apache 2. The second is to use Nginx. I personally prefer to use this Apache 2. I personally prefer. Okay, we enter sudo apt install Apache 2 in the terminal. Ask to enter the Y return to the car. Then we type sudo vim slash etc slash apache2 slash ports dot f. The purpose of this step, it's because the CASA OS is a NAS system, has already taken up the port 80 that Apache 2, port 80. So we need to change this port to an unoccupied port, let's say 81. Okay, when you're done typing, press ESC and enter a colon to exit. Okay, here it is. Our personal blog. This web server is set up. Let's enter this IP address. Followed by the port number we just changed 81 enter. If the test does not work it is because the service is not started. We first start the service sudo system to start Apache 2. We also need to make it boot up. We type sudo system to enable Apache 2. If this screen appears, it started successfully. Okay, let's prove that the service is up and running. Okay. At this point, it's automatically loaded. And what about us? Can upload the file to the specified directory. Upload the file to the specified directory. Okay, let's upload it. Wait for the upload to finish. Reload. Our website personal blog is set up. Then we can use an internet penetration software like Peanut Shells, or NGROK and other internet penetration software, to penetrate the internet. We can then access our blog from outside the network.